All right, guys, so today we're going to show some uh, some high crotch defense. Right now we're going to get in. Guys are going to be in on a high crotch. We're going to go over just different positions of how to get out with guys in on my legs. Okay, so a couple of things that we noticed for Jimmy here who's on my, on my leg on a high crotch is what makes him strong is that his back's straight, his hips are in, and his head's up, right? So a couple of things I need to do. The initial defense, the number one thing I'm always going to when I'm, when I'm looking to defend the high crotch is this hand here, the inside hand that's near his head, is I'm looking to make a C, okay? Thumbs inside, thumbs inside, and I'm looking right about his neck. I don't want head because he can still neck power past this. Because I'm dealing with all this right now, because his hips are in and he's in on a deep shot, it's gonna be hard just to push on his head, okay? Because I'm still dealing with all this. So right now, I just kinda wanna get a base. I just wanna grab his neck, all right? One thing I'm looking to do here too is from here, this outside arm is looking belly wizard, okay? Belly wizard. So as he's in on this high crotch, right away when he shoots in, I'm going neck with my inside hand, okay? My outside hand is coming and I'm going to the belly. And when I go to the belly, what I'm looking for, what I'm looking for is this arm's gonna pull in real hard as this leg pulls back. Okay, so the leg that he has, I'm pulling it back. I'm using this with leverage here. So this arm's here, I'm pulling this back as I pull in. And as I do, I'm looking to circle away from him. I'm looking to circle and sprawl down and away, down and away, okay? So he's in on a high crotch, he's in good position. So the first thing I need to do is this, I need to control the head. Because every good high crotch wrestler, a guy who's in on the high crotch, is gonna be looking to come up across with his head and finish up to his feet. Okay, so the first thing I need to stop is his head. Okay, so whenever I'm showing technique, whenever you guys are thinking about technique, you have to be thinking about what this guy's doing. Okay, part of knowing wrestling and part of knowing positions is knowing how to beat everything I show. So if I show defense, you should know how to beat it offensively. And then you need to progressively go through a chain of wrestling. And that's what we call chain wrestling. Okay, it's a progressive series of wrestling. And I learned so many different positions through one series because I'm just flowing from position to position in both ways. See, if I don't know how to finish a high crotch, I don't know how to defend it because I'm not worried about his head. So I go here and he starts coming up, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what I do. So when he's in on this, my goal right now is to control head because that's his goal is to bring it up. So I'm here, this is going belly wizard. As I go, I'm trying to hamstring curl. So let go. Whoever's done uh, at the lifting, whoever's done the, at the gym, we just hamstring curl, okay? Just hamstring curl. So I'm just hamstring curling my leg, right here. I'm circling, and this is going down to here, okay? This, I want flexed, I want this flexed, okay? Because this keeps a lot of tension on this lock, all right? So as we're here, one thing I want to do is once I'm flexed, this belly wizard, I'm not, just, I'm not trying to just tip him to his side here. What I'm trying to do is I'm really trying to use this to pull this leg back and out. And I'm using this as leverage. I'm using this as leverage, okay? So back on our feet, Jimmy gets in on a nice high crotch, set me up good, he beat me. We're here. Immediately the first thing I'm looking to do is this inside hand's going to the neck, belly wizard, okay? Right away, this is hamstring curling as I shuffle down and away and sprawl. My belly whizzer is gonna be curling in and I'm gonna be looking to pull my leg back as I pull my arm in. Pull my leg back as I pull my arm in, okay? Once I'm here, it's simple. I'm just circling. Keep this belly whizzer, I'm circling. Because I have a belly whizzer here and because I have so much pressure on his shoulder and I beat the angle, his hands are gonna break. Okay, if I, if I sprawl like this, Jimmy's probably gonna post up and knee slide back in, and then I'm in trouble, okay? So, that's why this initial hand is so important when he's in, this initial hand's going right here. I'm immediately bending over to here, curling here, okay? Sometimes you got a guy who's just iron frogging it and he won't let go, he's not really looking to score. He's just looking to stalemate. He doesn't want to lose the position. He knows, he's, he knows he lost this battle, but he doesn't want to give up too. So his goal right now is just to do a weight hold as hard as he can. So one thing that I like to do, just as a little, um, little trick, is I bring this, this outside knee, 
and I kind of knee him, knee him in his ribs. Okay, I knee him in his ribs, and I use that knee to kind of counterbalance this. So as I'm trying to hamstring curl this, my other knee is coming in, this leg's coming out. Okay, and even if he wraps around that leg, I really don't care because I'm cross facing really hard to go in here. So my initial defense is always hand on the head immediately, right away, right? I, this has got to be quick because if he shoots in and he's in good position like this, he's looking to come to his feet right away. I'm in trouble, okay? And we'll show what happens when he comes to his feet. But right away, he shoots in. I'm going boom. I need this so that I can get my, my pressure down. My pressure down. This is going here. Curling my leg, curling my leg. If the lock breaks, I just go behind, okay? If we're here and the lock doesn't break, we're here, guys just like iron frogging it. This outside knee here, this outside knee is hitting him right in his lap, okay? And I'm doing this with my legs. I'm scissoring him, all right? So this outside knee's coming in, this leg's pulling back, okay? And right when I feel that break, I'm just gonna slide off, go behind, okay? 